tell me a little bit about why you wanted to be a part of this movie. Um, I read the script and I didn't want to audition for it because I loved it too much. And I didn't want to not get the part, so I procrastinated. And then on the very last day, I sent in my tape for Peaches. Um, and luckily, our lovely director, Rob, liked it. Um, but I was obsessed with the character. She was pregnant. I was pregnant in real life. Um, she had to pull herself up by her bootstraps. And she was just, um, she was very funny in spite of her circumstances. So I loved it. And I know you guys filmed not here. You filmed in Atlanta. So what was it like being out of LA with a small knit cast kind of just getting to film together? Yeah, I, I love that because it creates more of that summer camp vibe. I'm also from Georgia, so it was nice to be close to home while we were filming. And how do you feel like the film being on Netflix is going to impact it? Netflix and chill. Everybody has Netflix. Everyone gets to see it. They don't have to like get in their car. It's awesome. And working with Paul Rudd, all these characters, you know, have comedic and dramatic elements to it. What is like preparing for a role like that? Um, I think the script was the best preparation. The script had all of the comedic and dramatic uh, tone, a dark comedy, if you will. Uh, it had that tone already in, this, in the writing, so you just had to believe in it, which was easy. And working with Selena Gomez, getting close there, what is that? Are you a big fan? What do you um, think of her? Sure, yeah. I mean, I'm 100 years older than Selena Gomez, but I do really love her. She's a great actress. She's obviously an amazing pop star as well. She's um, she's just a very cool girl, and we had like three to 400 fans on set every day waiting for her autograph. Do you have a favorite song of hers that you have? Oh, I like all the new jams, all the new ones. All right.